everyone welcome to edit sensational kitchen on today's video i'm going to be making fish wrap i know most of us we are used to chicken wrap chicken shawarma beef shawarma but this particular video i'm using macro fish to make a difference just watch this video and i promise you when you try it at home you are going to love it so these are the ingredients we're going to be using for this video this is our shawarma wrap, our flat bread, and I'm going to be using jam, this mayonnaise, this garlic, and the green bell pepper. I also have scotch bonnet pepper because I want it to be spicy. Along with the jam, you'll be feeling sweet, spicy taste. So that's why I'm going to be using green bonnet, scotch bonnet pepper. So this is our onions. I shredded the carrots. I'm using cabbage. Some people they use lettuce, but I'm using cabbage. And that is our grilled macro fish. So let's get started. So I just added a little oil, vegetable oil in our pan. Just want to stir fry our onions I'm going to surprise a little bit so I'm going in with uh, garlic and salt you know we always need salt salt to taste and whatever we cook if you don't like garlic, don't bother. So this is if you don't like the taste of garlic. So I'm going to be adding the green bell pepper. I do not want to add the green scotch, scotch bonnet pepper yet because of the hotness. So I'll just wait, that will be the last thing I'm going to add to it. So I'll just give it time to stir fry a little bit. We are not cooking it, we are just stir frying it. So that it will be a little bit soft. It will not be that raw. Okay, I'm going in with the squash honey pepper. I want to feel that spicy taste because of the jam I'm going to be using. One more minute, then I will just switch it up. I like to cook a little bit before we start wrapping. So it's okay, I'm switching off the, the gas. So we're about to start you know wrapping our macre should I call it macre fish warma or macre fish wrap. So first thing first I'm going to be using the I'm just Put uh, my jam to wrap it, the to rub. Some people they use honey, but I'm using jam, so that will feel a little bit of that sweetness because of the the spiciness of our scotch bonnet pepper. So I'll just set this one aside. Do the same with the other one. depends on you if you prefer using uh, mayonnaise to to 
uh, butter your flat bread before putting the other ingredients and go ahead and do, do that. Just a little bit of the uh, apricots, apricots uh, jam, that's what I'm using. Side. Some people, like I said before, they use a uh, lettuce, but I'm using cabbage. That's what I have within my reach. So I'm just going to. Oops. And some people also put uh, tomatoes. Um, this is what I'm using. I'm adding carrot, shredded carrot straight to the carrots so I'm going to be putting the macro fish when I'm going to be using my mayonnaise and to make our first wrap This is our first strap. I've just set it aside because we're going to be warming it on the fry pan. The fry pan we used to stir fry the green pepper and onions. So I'll just use it to heat it up. So going in again with the cabbage. So we're folding it again. Let's see this one aside. So this is our last strap. So our wrap is on the pan, we just like heating it up. Just to heat it up. Okay, I need to do the same. So if you have never tried fish shawarma or fish wrap after watching this video just follow step by step make your own try it and leave your comments at the comment section tell me what you think So 
So I just spray it in it because the wrap was in the fridge for now, just to make it warm. So turn this in to the last, last one. So our fish wrap is ready. So what I'm going to be doing right now, just want to cut it into two. Wow, take a look. That's the perfect mackerel fish shawarma. So that's it. That's it on today's video. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Bye.